And uh, so our question is, uh, what cognitive therapy uh, can learn from uh, this uh, new effect? That's a big question. Yeah, girl. What can cognitive therapy learn? I'm not a cognitive therapist, but my first reaction to that would be, that it would help to appreciate simply the power of things we're not aware of, not simply because we don't know them, because I understand in cognitive therapy that you help people know things that they don't know, but the difference is, well, partly, you yeah. help them to learn better ways, yeah, and it can, be very, yeah. it can be very useful, but I think what <laughs> might be better appreciated in cognitive therapists is what in our minds keeps us from knowing things, the reasons we don't know things. Because my understanding, which is limited, of cognitive therapy, my reaction is it focuses a little bit too much simply on rational processes rather than or more what I would call primitive processes where the deeper levels of the mind, neurobiologically, the limbic system, create intense affects that the conscious cognitive mind doesn't know what to do with. And that kind of therapy can help a great deal in terms of ordering what's in our mind. But my limited understanding is it doesn't help as much with the primary conflicts between the intense aggressive impulses and loving impulses yeah. that it doesn't help us understand the resistance to knowing. Why do we not want to know certain things about ourselves? So I think a psychodynamic approach offers more of a sense of conflict within the mind yeah. as opposed to not yeah. knowing. Yeah. And you should remember the definition of psychodynamic. It means the mind in motion. Not just our patient's minds in motion, but our own minds are in motion. Because every human being is always having to find a balance between intense biological urges and more social prohibitions and more moral values. So to find that equilibrium is our goal. And I think a cognitive person should be aware of the more primitive nature. Okay? <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that.